All Let's right, see what then. happens. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want me to look? Like right um, in the... No, that, yeah, that's perfect. That's okay. perfect. <laughs> so this is Kelsey Grant. Kelsey Grant is incredible. Like just from literally contacting you, what, two days ago? Two days ago, Until yeah. today, just being able to to do an interview. It's it's really, really cool. So yeah, feel free to begin, begin from wherever you want. <laughs> Um, well, I guess like the one thing that I would really love to share is that no matter what happens in your life, like, it's there for a reason and we can really grow and expand and learn through our circumstances if we don't let them define us. And like there's been some pretty shitty things that I've had to go through and experience, especially when it comes to relationships that mm -hmm. had me really confront my a codependency mm -hmm. and my conditional giving and my conditional loving. And that wasn't easy to come to terms with and mm -hmm. it really came out of like a big breakdown in a relationship and losing a relationship that meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm. And it spun me into this crazy, intense, raw journey of self-discovery and realizing that the core of my capacity to love resides in my ability to give that love to myself first. Mm. And as I grow to be more kind and loving and compassionate to myself, I expand my capacity to hold space for other people, whether that's in a partnership or in my mm -hmm. community or with my clients. Like, It all starts with the way in which I'm relating to myself. And mm. I see those circumstances that are tough and challenging and really kind of rip the heart wide open as opportunities for massive growth and massive expansion and mm. it really catapult me to the next level of greatness. Can, can I ask you, so you mentioned opportunities within, you know, basically massive heartbreak and, and negative emotions. What did that look like for you? And I guess if someone is going through that, you know, what are some of the what are some of the strategies that you used or what did you implement during those times? So how it kinda looked for me when it happened was complete and utter shutdown. Like emotionally I felt collapsed. Like I felt like I couldn't breathe. There were some days where I felt like I couldn't even like get out of bed. Yeah. And uh, I felt just totally immobilized. And in those moments like I had to start with my breath. Like that was the only place that I could really start was, okay, I got to get back to the present moment and the only thing that's going to take me there is my breath. And focusing on like deep, deep belly breathing and like just letting go of whatever was there. And as I kind of came back to my senses, mm -hmm. I was able to maybe look at things a little bit differently and use some reframes and ask myself, what am I meant to learn from this? How am, I, how am I meant to grow? And whatever my you know, higher self or God or whatever you want to call it, you know, shared with me, I just took action on it. Mm. And one of my favorite coaches and teachers, um, his whole philosophy is in the absence of clarity, take action. And that is something that really propelled me through that hard times. Like I just got to take action, whether that action is drinking a glass of water, you know, getting out of bed, yeah. you know, yeah. going for a walk, maybe going for a run, but just take action and then the next step will reveal itself. Yeah, so it was my intimate relationship with my partner and this was someone that I really felt I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden one day it just came crashing down and he came over and said I can't do this anymore and he didn't really give me a reason why mm -hmm. and I had to sit in that energy of not knowing why it had ended and I had to really come to terms with the fact that I may never know why he left and you know why I wasn't good enough yeah. and as soon as I heard that dialogue within myself that it must be something within me something wrong with me I'm like oh like, that's that's my healing that's my mm -hmm. area of growth and um, like it was challenging like then coming to terms with finding out that he had actually like broken the terms of our agreement and our relationship and had been with somebody else and you know dealing with that energy of infidelity <laughs> you know if I hadn't done that pre-work of self-love that would have spun me into like a deep abyss and I don't know if I would have recovered from it, um, at least as quickly as I did. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it, it was all rooted in 
a really intimate relationship and I find that those are the most amazing places for our shit to come up. Yeah. And it's because there's such a deep sense of love that's underneath all of that and that love kind of pulls everything unlike itself to the surface mm. so that we can work through it and actually let it go so we can be free to be with each other and see each other and open our hearts to each other fully. And when all of that crap of I'm not good enough or you know I'm not enough or there's something wrong with me is in the way, it actually blocks us from creating those connections that we so deeply want. Mm-hmm. Very true, very yeah. true. So, um, would you be able to... Kelsey, thank you so, 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 so much for that interview. It was really powerful, really inspirational, and I really appreciate you taking the time to do that interview with me. Make sure that you stay tuned. Part two is coming up, and she has a lot of really amazing things to say as well. So right now I'm in Seattle, and I've been traveling in order to do this series. It's really, 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 really important to me. Honestly, this is my life, my passion, my everything. And really, it's only possible because of you. So if you do feel inspired to, if you do believe in the project, you can send a donation. Um, you would send it to uh, speakreal at gmail.com through PayPal, or you could do Venmo. My username is speakreal. <laughs> I, I made sure to challenge myself to do this in public because this is really awkward for me to do. So, thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned. More exciting things are coming. Thank you and speak real.